Only 25% of American households have a garden. I'd like to change that. Welcome, maybe welcome back. My name is Tyler from Home Run Haven Farm, and today I'd like to talk to you about rain barrels again. So the garden is in full swing in the spring here, and uh, we're about to transition into summer, but I wanted to uh, make a little video because I just got a new rain barrel. I'm sure many of you all remember this guy here, my trash can rain barrel. Uh, I built this for less than $50 and it has been a tremendous help in the garden. So much help, in fact. So much, in fact, that I built this second one. And I tell you what, it's already been a tremendous help. I also have plans to install a third rain barrel in the back. That should pretty much uh, satiate all of our water needs um, as long as we're living here. If you're thinking about installing a rain barrel, or some sort of uh, water storage solution, just go for it. Because the help it has provided, the money it has saved, has been truly significant. The past few days have just been hot and sticky, and I was able to keep the garden watered using one of my two rain barrels. So that was a pretty big deal. And now it looks like it's about to rain again, which is gonna both water the garden and fill up the rain barrels. So, it really is just free water. This is this is God's water. Don't ignore it. Also, there are just some crops that really need water every single day. Um, like this strawberry here. You do not want to let this go unwatered. What the heck? That ain't bad. We actually water our entire garden all by hand. It is more thorough that way, you can get a closer look at your plants, and it's a much more therapeutic process. That said, it does take a while to water a garden of this size. Uh, we've gotten to fill up the whole backyard here, and we're starting to spread into the side yard and uh, a little bit into the front yard as well. We don't really have that much more room, uh, but we're going to start growing vertically, so no worries about that. It just goes to show that when you start having a garden of this size, you'll run through water very quickly. And having any sort of water storage on hand is going to be a huge boost, really. If you're going to plan on gardening, people are going to say, oh, well, you're going to spend just as much money uh, on the seeds and on the water. This really is the key to uh, keeping the cost down. There's a few different things. You know, you can generate soil by composting. You can generate fertilizer by vermicomposting. You can store water by collecting rainwater. And the list goes on, really. It's just one step of the many steps involved in creating a permaculture garden. We are the gardeners. We just make it work. But with that, I'm gonna wrap this up. Just a quick one today. I've been pretty busy with clove and other other videos and things. Um, I'm Tyler from Home Road Hamden Farm. Thank you very much for watching. Don't give up, keep growing, and I will see you guys in the next one.